Hey guys, it's Mora, and I'm playing another Carmen San Diego game that I loved in my childhood. Carmen San Diego Word Detective. Let's just watch the intro, and then I'll get cut to the chase of me talking. This is Agent 12 reporting. Do you read? Go ahead, 12. What do you see? Sand, sir. Nothing but sand! Then you're not looking hard enough. The tower has to be there. The coordinates say you're practically on top of it. Whoa! Agent 12! Uh-oh. Ah! Where are you, 12? Talk to me. I am, sir. Inside the tower. That's the good news. <laughs> the bad news is I've been slash knack I never one that knock I What's that, Agent 12? All of a sudden you seem to be at a loss for words. Just kidding, Agent 12. You're just feeling the effects of my latest invention. The Babylon machine. As you can see, it turns words into gibberish. The Babylon has effectively stolen your power of speech. It's all part of my master plan. Long story, I wouldn't want to bore you with the details. Your boss? Take these keys and hide them. And not under your pillow like the last time. Somewhere hard to find. And be sure to keep your eyes peeled for any intruders. Well, it's been nice chatting with you, but I must be going. It's a shame, though. I'm about to perpetrate the crime of the century, and I don't even have one worthy opponent. Enjoy your stay, agents. So glad you dropped in. <laughs> So again, uh, I'm playing Carmen San Diego Word Detective, the uh, another Carmen San Diego game I haven't played in years. One of another one of my favorites from my childhood, besides Wear in Time. The other is Math Detective, which is the one I'll do next. I'm gonna so I'm gonna go ahead and log in with my name. Chase Devano. Just in time. You must be Agent 13. Chase Devano here. Look, the less you know about me, the better. Just know that Carmen's got 12 of our agents, and that makes you the last chance we have at breaking this case. I need you to investigate Carmen's hideouts, find the keys to the Babylon machine, and then perform a little rescue mission at the Tower of Babel. When you get to a hideout, Search the area carefully for clues. I have a feeling Carmen scrambled more than just speech. And I'll see what I can find out on my end about Carmen's next move. Good luck, 13. Catch you later. So, I'm gonna transport to my first villain hideout. Uh, like the um, Carmen's crooks in Where in Time, uh, Carmen's Crooks in this, they have puns for names, uh, very clever, I might think, like this one, not a lot in common, not a lot in common, uh, you uh, may break it up by the, almost by the syllables and phonetics, um, so let's travel to her crypt in Egypt. Ow. And when you find clues, it means you're gonna be, um, doing grammar exercises because you get it down here in the password decoder. I have to get four of them in order to uh, unlock the keys where Carmen's crook has hidden, have hidden them, the keys to the Babylon machine. Just type it in. 
camping. As a skilled typist, I know how to type in a snap, so way more than I did when I was nine years old. Hammer. And I tell you, just like we're in time playing this game again Blast. after all these years is such a thrill. I'm so excited. Strand. So notice as I get type in, uh, do uh, type in, finish typing the word as it goes down and fills in here. Once it's all completely filled out, I'll have gotten uh, cracked one clue for the password decoder. Yeah, see, so now it's turned pink because I've co decoded the password. Now I need to find one more in here. Decode one. So there's another clue I need since I have to be in this location and another one for from hideouts of Carmen's Crooks. Uh, I'm going to have two here and two in the other. Okay. Okay, here it is. All right. Here is used. Oh, looks like I can hit enter after I've typed it in. I don't need to just play, cl click the check button up there. decoded all the passwords so now I have to get moving before Carmen's croak finds me here so there she's coming in it's always can be random it's never the same but whenever you leave a villain's hideout they can always emerge in hiding from two places different places I mean, there's two places from which they may emerge, but sometimes they may just have one spot or the other. Okay, the key stasher here is where I have the keys, where the thief has the keys for the Babylon machine decoded, but I can't get in into it yet because I need to get all of the passwords decoded the clue from the clues. So here's another. Oh, fusion chamber, I never really liked that one. You
Hey, I need one more password. Send one, just one last clue for this password. Okay. Send. I don't care if I'm going fast to uh, play this. It's just a joy to be able to play Arrest. it again. Together. Tender. faster and smarter than I was when I played this game as a kid. I was under 10, of course. Now I'm in my 30s. Okay. Got all the passwords decoded, so now I have to use it to unlock the key stasher. Click, and there it's opening. And here's the crook, Otto Readmore. Just when he thinks he can get me, though, he <laughs> knocked himself silly. <laughs> Not very smart. Okay, to get the keys in, you can either drag them in here or just, just push on that with your mouse. This is one very cool tool for reformatting speech, don't you think? Too bad Carmen's turning Yeah, it could be. Just ideas. Carmen's using it for bad instead of See good. What you can make of this strange code word I found. I gotta head back to headquarters to see what this hardware might do to help people learn to talk. Ciao! Good work, Agent. It looks like I've backed a winner this time. Listen. I just had a bird's eye view of Carmen's operation. We've uh, located a few more villain hideouts. Good luck finding that next key agent. All right, so yeah, once I free an agent, then the keys disappear because I can only use it once. Um, so I'm gonna end this video here, having freed one agent, and I'm gonna split this up into 11 more videos to in which I free each agent so it, yeah there's going to be like uh, 12 13 parts of this like for 13 being for the very end of this walkthrough of Matt, of word detective uh, and as I said part one is just this one for having freed one agent so again I'm going to end it right here hope you guys enjoyed watching me play this just as much as I enjoyed playing it again and I'll see you in the next video